नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श सु वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट ट्वेल्व ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव डज एट लुक द सेम ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ मैथमेटिक्स इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी ड्रो सम शेड्स विच वॉज ऑन दी पेज नंबर एटी थ्री है ना वी ड्रो दिस शेड एंड वी गिव इट वन फोर्थ और हाफ टर्न एंड डिड यू डू दिस एक्टिविटी एट योर होम डिड यू प्रैक्टिस हाउ टू ड्रो दिस शेड डिड यू गिव इट वन फोर्थ एंड वन हाफ टर्न टू दिस शेड आई होप यू मस्ट हैव डिड दिस ओके यू मस्ट हैव डन एट योर होम एंड नाउ टूडे Open your textbook and be on the page number eighty-four. Which page? Eighty-four. And on which practice C is there? Practice C. Let's see that practice. What is there? C. Draw what the following shapes would like to be like on one fourth turn and half a turn. So these are the shapes. One, two, three, four. We will give it one fourth turn and half a turn. And that shape we will have to draw into our textbook. So with you, you should keep your textbook open as well as keep a pencil, sharpened pencil with you. <laughs> Sorry, I am some dry cough. That is why I cannot uh, speak loudly. But what I am told you, do you get me? You will keep a pencil with you, a scale with you, as well as a textbook that to be open. You should be on the page number eighty-four. Now let's go for this practice. See, first of all, <coughs> we want to give this triangle that is one fourth turn and half a turn. Now let me give you. First of all, what you will do? You will. You will cut a triangle in a paper. Cut the triangle in a paper. Now what you will do? Just you draw. Just you draw a circle. Here you can see there is a circle. Okay. Now see if we start from here, then this will be one fourth turn. Up to this, it will be one fourth turn, and up to this, it will be one half. This will be one half turn. Okay. So, if you could not understand, then draw this circle like this. Then take the triangle. Okay. So, this is a triangle. Okay. Now, let me give it one fourth turn. So, this triangle. This triangle will be same as I I kept it like this. Then <coughs> give it half turn. How does it look like? You can see it will look like this one, isn't it? So the arrow, this arrow will come over here on one half, one fourth turn. So let me draw on one fourth turn. This one will look something like this. So let me draw this triangle. Okay, on one fourth turn it will look something like this. Now let's give half turn. So once again let me give this like this and this arrow, this arrow. Will this is one fourth turn and this is half turn. So on half turn, how does it look like? This point will come over here at the downside. So let me draw on half turn. It will look something like this. Do you get? So this triangle, this is on one fourth turn. This is on one half turn. It will look like something like this. Then after. Another shape is there. That is a square. Okay, this is square. You can see this a square. 
Now let's go for Now let's go for one fourth term. Suppose see this is the same I kept it over here. Now let me put it over here. So this is the point. Okay. Now let's give it a half turn. Then on half turn it will look something like this. I hope you must be able to see this. Now can you see this shape? Okay, on half one fourth turn it will look something like this. Actually, it is look this way. Okay, so let me draw this square on one half one fourth turn. Okay, now let's go for half turn. So this is over here, and let me give half turn. So once again, it will look something like this. Okay, and it is the same. This is the same. Okay, so on one half turn also it will look the same. Now there is a rectangle. You can see there is a rectangle. It is something like this. Okay. Uh, let me put the draw go draw. Okay. Now this is in this shape. Now let me give it one fourth turn. So on one giving one fourth turn it will look like something like this. So let me draw something like this. Okay. This is something like this. Now one second. Put it like this and give it a half turn. So you should keep something like this. Okay. So on half turn. It will look like this one. This is half turn. Okay. Now, this is the same. This is hexagon. This is what hexagon. Now, it is something like this. Okay. Let me put. This is the side. Now let me give it a half turn, a one fourth turn. So on one fourth turn, it will look something like this. Okay. So let me draw something like this. Okay. Now let's give it a half turn. So put it like this. Give it a half turn. On half turn, it will look something like this. So let me draw this once again. On half turn, it will look the same. So let me draw this shape over here. Okay. So this is. On one half turn, this hexagon will look like this, and on one fourth turn, it will look like this. So we have come to know repeat this practice by cutting some shapes into the pen. You also will what you will do. First of all, cut these shapes in the paper, and then after give it one fourth turn and one half turn, so that okay, you can understand it well. Okay, and how to give this turn? First of all, draw a circle. Then write one fourth over here, one half over here, and give me. Then give these shapes one fourth and one half turn. Okay. Thank you. Now the next practice is what. Which pen will look the same on one third turn? So now, see, we understood one half turn, we understood one fourth turn. Now there is one third turn. So first of all, let's understand how to give one third turn. To give one third turn, what what you will do? Draw a circle. Okay, draw a circle.
then after what you will do divide this circle into three equal parts how many three equal parts so it will be something like this there will be three equal parts of a circle and if you want to draw that this will be something like this okay now what did we do we divide or we did three parts of a circle then this is 1 2 3 and we know that total three parts are there then this part is known as one third part this part also known as one third part and this part also known as one third part that we know we understood this in the last chapter okay so from here from here if we come up to here then it will be one third part okay so what they are what shall we do we will turn the any 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 object up to this only okay so let's go for this see there is a pen which pen will look the same on one third turn so this is a pen say there is and if i want to see there are three plates in the pen so naturally it will be on this point only the one two and three okay so on giving it one third turn once again this blade will come over here okay so it will look the same on giving it a one third turn but here this blade is having green blade one of the blade is green so if we give this green blade one third turn then automatically this this blade will come over here and right? this green blade on giving one third turn on giving one third turn this blade will come over but two blades are blue and one of the blade is green so this pen will not look the same after giving one third turn why because one of the blade is green and this pen having all the blades same that is why this will look the same after giving one third turn do this activity at your home watch this video two to three time and cut the shapes what i have asked you to do so and do this practice and we'll meet you in the next part by this time i'm ending this session thank you thank you for joining us take care of yourselves and we'll meet you in the next session thank you